was pleased this one was behind a wall. Maybe he'd never know what she could do. Maybe, maybe they could just have a conversation, hang out. As long as he didn't find out what she could do, which would never happen so long as they stayed separate. didn't have time to worry about the ominous pixel cloud. It had been following her for some time and it had kept itself to itself until now. More important was the little orange thing, which was looking at her in a way that she kind of, well, liked. Square, who had shyly introduced himself as Chris, bounced atop Laura. She began to worry that he was just using her like all the others had. They'd all bounced too, and then they disappeared when her back was turned. ominous pixel cloud ever remained, looking a little bigger and a little less hungry with every disappearing friend. With every bounce, Laura found herself less and less irritated by Chris. She started to miss him when he wasn't there, on another platform or something. was in love. She was perfect. 
he had to tell her so. At some point, he would definitely tell her. Probably best to wait for a moment the large, ominous pixel cloud wasn't about, though. Yeah, probably best to wait. was massively disappointed to run into the gang again. He'd enjoyed the alone time with his new girlfriend. If I say it out loud, he told himself, he didn't want to scare her off. Others seemed suspicious of Laura and the eager-looking pixel cloud of death which seemed to be watching her. Sure, they'd use her inherent bounciness to reach slightly higher jump points, but they wouldn't strike up a conversation with her. Chris found them rude. Rude and always there.
others wouldn't drop it. Who's that cloud guy? Why is he following us? What's that rumbling hungry sound he keeps making? Chris, can we just leave Laura behind? Rude. Huh? <laughs> 